In this tutorial, together we're going to discuss the characteristic profile of the jester. Who is the jester? The jester is the fun, loving, entertainer part of you that is always up for a good laugh. Infectious humour is the jester's superpower, who lives by the motto, let me entertain you, where laughter is the name of its game. The jester is the part of you that enjoys seeing people explode with joyous laughter. This part of yourself wants nothing more than to entertain people and brighten up their lives with happiness. The jester is a characteristic trait that expresses itself whenever we are the fumbling clown, the racy comedian, the wise guy, the practical joker, or the clumsy idiot. We play the jester role when expressing good humour, satire, slapstick comedy, and when doing sheer stupidity and self-deprecating behaviour. And there are two different types of being a jester. We can be the validation jester, and we can be the deflection jester. Let's start with the validation jester. Some of us are natural born comedians. With this, we do need an outlet for that expression. We need stage and audience to express and share our talents. And if you are a natural jester, then you have the innate potential to get in the good books of people with fun and laughter. Fun and laughter are great communication skills and social lubricants. Most people do find these qualities attractive, warming, and infectious. Humour can be especially useful for attracting a potential mate. If you have great humour, then you will be socially adept and well received. In fact, many people do make a lucrative career as the illustrious comedian. That said, being in the jester can have a detrimental impact on the quality of your life. The jester can find its outlet and place as the family jokester, the class clown, or the group stooge. Whilst entertaining people we know can be harmless, there is a risk of becoming a lower status person that nobody really takes seriously or thinks highly of. And having not explored its own unique creativity. The jester is often the second-rate performer that mimics the works of others. The jester can play the outright fool that does anything in desperation for a cheap laugh. Whilst amateur performances may gain applause and some street cred, a performance that lacks original talent does very little to bolster real self-worth. Real self-worth is what comes from the expression of real talent, which brings me on to the deflection jester. When life is fraught with adversity and trauma, one of the greatest coping methods is to alleviate the seriousness and negativity of a situation by finding comedy in the tragedy. Laughter is pleasurable. Laughter has the transcendent qualities of transmuting sorrow to joy. Being able to laugh through misfortunate times is a way to cushion the emotional blow. The jester's funny outlook on things is a great stress buster and can lighten up a tense atmosphere and situation. The jester can, however, be a deflective guise that hides anguish within, where making others feel happy is the counter agent for a deeply unhealed wound that belongs to a personal injury or a serious past trauma. The tragedy is, just like the great late Robin Williams, the jester will make others laugh and yet fail to overcome its own unhappiness, eats away inside. So to summarize the jester, being the jester is good, fun, harmless and constructive. We all need to indulge with humor to break up the heaviness of life. 
whenever we feel sad and downbeat, the jester will flip the script and allow us to see the humorous side of things. The jester's downfall is its light-heartedness and carefree attitude. When inclined to poke fun out of real world issues and the human condition itself, one is less inclined to make a worthwhile difference in the greater scheme of society. Comedy is more of an antidote to the seriousness of life, rather than being a progressive solution that manifests a noble achievement. You see, just like Peter Pan, who was preoccupied with trivial and jovial styles of thinking and behaving, the jester is someone that doesn't want to grow up. The jester archetype is largely the reason why we have a man-child and a woman-child epidemic, which means grown adults that are trapped inside a mind with childish logic. The immature mindset makes the earnest and responsible life very difficult indeed. If the jester trait is prominent, one is likely to prefer the company of those who choose entertainment over self-development. Never to evolve beyond the childlike mindset is what keeps one stuck within Never Neverland. So, we should have fun with the jester role, but not let the jester role take over our life. And no doubt, to some capacity, you have the jester qualities. Perhaps you need to become more of the jester to lighten up your life, or perhaps you need to be less of the jester to get more serious about your life. And now that we've finished with this tutorial, I will see you on the next one, where together we will discuss the sycophant archetype.